cook with us. Cook with me. <laughs> That's what I just said, is it not? It's the under. Oh no. We're adding everything. Looks like I'm on a knife and a spoon. Mm hmm. Mm. I must leave you for the new world. What's happening, chuffers? Skirt, skirt. What's that you blocking out? Skirt. What's happening, chuffers? What's happening, chuffies? What's happening, you chuffy? <laughs> today, to today, we are doing cook with us. Cook with me. We're doing a review of the Van Life cookbook, which is this book here. Um, we got this after working with Chef Tom Hunt. He introduced us to da uh, Danny Jack and Hayley Kukura. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave us this book and they like signed it really nicely for us. Put a nice message in there for us. So my babes there is now going to tell you what dishes we do. Hi there. So our first recipe of the evening is going to be... You know what, I'll just put it out of clothes. Do you know? Oops. Now it down like that. <coughs> it down a little bit maybe. Yeah, there. <laughs> okay, so the first recipe that we're going to be cooking this evening is date night tagliatelle, which involves tagliatelle, and then it's going to have a creamy white white wine sauce, courgette ribbons, dill, and then it said either smoked trout or smoked salmon, and we have opted for some smoked salmon, and also garlic and onions, but that's just a given, right, in any dish. Okay, right. I've already begun. I started without you because this one was taking forever. Oh. What have you done? It was you. Well, I'll be the one to clean it up, I suppose. <laughs> I know I've been going on about how cold I am for about two hours now, but I'm getting hot. <laughs> the way. It's the way of life. Okay. First things first down the real end. First things first, I'm not going to do that yet. Second things second, we're going to prep our courgette. And actually, do you think we should rinse it? Oh look, it's covered in Elsa hair. We will give it a rinse with this water bottle. Then we can tell ourselves that we've So yeah, it. did anyone tell you that our water tank broke? <laughs> Fell oh, off yeah. the bottom of the van <laughs> while we were driving. <laughs> Split. <laughs> So it leaked a lot, I just felt a little winning. <laughs> so yeah, we just ordered a new one because some kind friends that we met let us use their address to up tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'm just cleaning everything with baby wipes. Is that gross? No, we have been we have been washing up with water bottles and stuff. I've been using a lot of baby wipes. Oh look! You see that? What did you turn to? Oh, we're gonna turn these into ribbons. Cause we fancy. Oh. Oh, she's a chef, and she knows what she's doing, because she's a chef, and she knows what she's doing, she's a chef. <laughs> oh, look at that. No, don't go right down your throat and get stuck for a week, speaking from experience. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Can't escape them. She that. But we wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, precious. Oh, look, let's give you a little rib on. You can have this one, it's perfect. Perfect piece for my perfect pooch. Once you have something that resembles a shitty apple core, you move on to the next piece and you rinse and repeat the same process. So what I'm doing, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but basically what you do is you just grab a peeler or a mandolin and you just start at the top put some pressure on and push down. It's really quite simple. I don't know if you knew. He doesn't know. <laughs> if you have a pooch, you're gonna feed them the remaining bits of courgette and make their lives. A bit of a colour Oil, garlic, salt. In the poon! That smells really thick. Smells like really delicious garlic bread. Mm, it does smell a bit like a fork. Mm. What? 
sometimes you'll, you get like garlic and onion. Oh, <laughs> that sounds quite nice. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It says don't let them change colour or something. <laughs> something of that ilk. Now I'm adding thinly sliced onion, only half of the onion. Cook gently. Yeah. Cook gently without colouring. <laughs> That's what I just said, is it not? They are looking a little bit golden and brown. Have no fear. Have no fear because I'm actually going to put them on the smaller rooms. So now in the pan we've got thinly sliced onion, garlic, salt and olive oil, which is basically the base of everything I ever cook. Is the pasta supposed to be that? No, the pot should have boiling water in ready for it to go. The pan's over there, if you could just grab that. That would be perfect. Well, now we need to turn the tap on. It's the onion. Salt this to shit, as my dear friend Jamie Oliver once taught me. The water that you cook your pasta in should taste like the ocean. Oh god, these onions are really getting me. Do you need a chef than Jamie Oliver? Me. Chef Tom Hunt. Pleasure of working with him. Go and get his books out now. E <laughs> eating for people, pleasure and the planet. I did it out now. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. I guess some people watching our video are looking for his book. <laughs> It's name dropping. It. Actually, Chef this is a dish recommended by Chef Tom. Um, yeah, Tom I don't know if anyone, don't know if I've told anyone. It was, um, it was an absolute pleasure to work for Tom Hunt. He's Great gonna working think we're him. taking the piss out of him. That's his own insecurities at play, Tom. You know, Tom. Can't wait to get back to Green. Same best job I've ever had. <laughs> He's been depressed since. <laughs> at this point, not a lot's happening. Zai is gonna do a dance for you while we wait for the pasta water to boil. Ooh, look at that footwork, baby. Oh, oh, oh. So majestic. So beautiful. And is it boiled yet? <laughs> no, we're fucking <laughs> 10 hours later. Very sweaty, man. Is that picking us up? Adam? I don't know. I think it must be. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Obviously, it'll be quiet when we move away. That's life. <laughs> the last time I ate smoked salmon was about 10 years ago. Probably longer. 10 years ago? Mm hmm. Really, quite a long time ago. I didn't eat it that often when I used to eat animals, friends, <laughs> friends of the earth. Sorry, Fu. <laughs> Literally, just waiting for water to boil. In it out. I thought it was going to just take us back to. I'm um, not going to do that first. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Guess what's ready? Ski! Pass. One, two, three. Four, five, six, six. I think that so. Loads. Six should be fine. Yeah. Yes. Let's go with six. Feels like a good number. Lid back on that. Now what? While the pasta. No wait. Add pasta. the white wine. Wait. How much white wine? Fifty mil. Gotta be about right, surely. So the white wine is in and reducing 50 mils of it, well thereabouts. Guesstimated. Probably did it perfectly, to be honest. And then we have the cream. This is a lot of waiting around this recipe. <laughs> so while we're waiting for that, let me tell you about this week's sponsor. <laughs> this week's sponsor this is week's my wife. Is shitty house. As she goes to work every single day to fend for us and keep us alive. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> the scissors, thank you. How much cream? Oh shit. <laughs> 300 mil. <gasps> There's a lot in. Wait, 
Is this going in now? Is this correct information? When you've reduced the white wine by half. Without pasta or anything. Uh-huh. Okay. Mmm. So tasty. Mmm. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh no. My water is no way near salty enough. Should we start again? Surely we just start again. <laughs> Ooh! There's a rogue bit of pasta in the cream. Can I hold the camera while you drain the pasta? Is it ready? Yep. You need to keep some of the pasta water though. This cup here, there's some Hennessy. Pasta drained. Add the dill, courgette. Okay, we're adding everything. We're adding everything. It's all happening. Are you ready? Quick, it's all gonna happen now. Go, go, go. Pasta, it, go. pasta courgette. I don't know if that's way too much courgette, so I'm just going to not add it all straight away. Wait, have you chopped the dill? No, it says dill stalks and all. So yeah, we're in chopped stalks and all. Finely chopped stalks. Whoa, well, watch this. How much? Half a small bunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you like dill? Okay. I love dill. <laughs> it's funny you should say that because dill is actually the name of it. Oh my god, you and Mono should create a club. I think that's a lot. Half a small bunch. Oh, that was half a small it's bunch. It's alright, you love it, so that's fine. Okay. And then, Defo is going to need more salt, I can already tell. And then... Please speak to me. <laughs> If you're out there, please speak to me. Ah. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Next addition. This is gonna feel revolting to the senses, to the mind, body, and soul. Smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Flake. It says, whatever that means. I think you just flake it. Unless there's different types of smoked salmon. It's a smoked salmon. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is so offensive. It's a dead animal. I'd like you to treat it with some respect. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> I'm about to educate you on something. <laughs> I think there's different types of smoked salmon and you can get a type of smoked salmon that's like the fillet smoked and you can like flake it, you know, like how you flake a salmon. I think that's different to this. So this might be the wrong salmon for the recipe. I did see that other salmon. Well, I did see that other salmon, actually. I took a look at it and it was cheaper. And also, it wasn't a RSPCA short. <laughs> for whatever the fuck that means when eating a salmon anyway. <laughs> So I had to go with the, the, what do they call it? The responsibly sourced. I had to go with the sliced. I had to go with the sliced salmon. <laughs> Gave it that bit because it had blood in, did you see? No. Time to eat! This is really giving me nostalgia vibes. When I used to go camping with my friend Lydia, her mum always used to make us tagliatelle Philadelphia and smoked salmon, like stirred fruit hot, and it was delicious. It's like fancy version, I feel. I don't really have a very good utensil for dishing it out. <laughs> I'm getting well hot. I feel right, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for, cause you just might get it. And if you get it, then you just might not know what to do with it. It might just come back on you simple. Do you want cheese? I'm not sure if I do. Um, no, I think I'm alright. Also, we only have one fork, so... I don't know what you're eating this with. 
Looks like I'm on a knife and a spoon. It's time to taste her else. Right, that's yours now. She's just licked that. Do you want to get hers? Oh, yes. She's like extra, extra excited tonight. Babes, it's okay, it's coming. It's okay. Listen to this. This is fit. Yeah, it's fit. This is really good. Nice and easy. Mm. Quick, mm. quick, and easy but effective. This is really fit. Massive shouts out to Danny and Haley for this one. Very nice. Thanks for the cookbook. We haven't said that we're going to make dessert as well. Oh yeah. Although, do you know what I've realised? We don't have a whisk, and I think it's <laughs> an essential. Oh, little one. Do you think that will make that cream go whipped? Elevate it is very good, this. I think, though. Mm. It's really delicious, right? I love it. I love the flavours. Oh, there's a book coming. But with dishes like this, where it's just one thing on your plate, it's not like rice, curry, maybe a few different curries, like a mix of flavours, like it's just one flavour. It's quite rich for me for just one flavour for like a full bowl. Mm. I feel like this would be really nice on a buffet with like other things on your plate rather than just one massive bowl of it. Do you agree or not agree? Mm. Wait a bit. Like already I've only had a few mouthfuls and I'm feeling like it's like carbonara vibes in it. Yeah and like just get the bowl of it and rich though for me. It's still very delicious. Cross creations, you haven't thought of it. Fuck you. Scratch can, corner of the classroom in front of Fuck. I'm fucking leaving. It's basically just raspberries and cream. <laughs> Wait, one more, one more. Yeah, one more, one more. Perfect. All right. End of video. Introducing Kranikan by Asaya. Raspberries! Cream! Honey! Babe! This must have taken you ages! It looks so complex and really like a detailed recipe. Mm. She's so beautiful. <laughs> what am I eating this with? Also, did you check the raspberries for bugs? Because yeah, you did. That I last them. pack. Oh, you washed them and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's great news. That last pack I was eating, I realized when there was about three left in it that they were all full of tiny, tiny. The fuck is that? Oh, it's you. <laughs> the fuck is that? Tiny, tiny little bugs. Uh. Okay, taste test. Raspberry cream and honey, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Why is that so good? It was made with love. Mm. Like, so folks, wait, the moral no, 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 of the story. Wait, 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 before you do the moral of the story. <laughs> actually try this as well, Phil. It. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> I must leave you for the new world. And the moral of the story is get the Van Life cookbook out now in cinemas near you. Get Chef Tom Hunt's book and get our book one day. When yeah. that comes out, get that. And keep having a chuffy old time. This is fucking delicious. This is so good. I think eating it with my fingers is adding to the joy of the situation. Feels like yeah, a more visceral experience of the raspberry and cream situation. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Don't forget to cop the merch at chuffedymerch.co.uk. Hottest merch in town. Shouts out to Jesse. Peace.